Good morning everyone in this step 8 of a flake tower making I just wanted to show you how the you know using both horizontal and uh, vertical cuts uh, making so you can have your own uh, geometry being built uh, based on this technique and it's really useful to use it in a laser cutting uh, process and as you can see that uh, both nodes were uh, uh, technically applied and uh, created for us uh, the geometry that we was working on and uh, based on uh, slicing it uh, with the specific intervals I think it's 10 by 10 or 10 by 15 uh, meters uh, these are actually also have a uh, vertical curve sorry horizontal and vertical curves on both edges of the surfaces that created and then the surface has been extruded to make those slab or have a th specific thickness as you can see for each vertical slice uh, anyway, it's, this video is a very short one, as uh, as you will uh, see, and uh, uh, I just wanted also to show you how you can change the vertical cutter or vertical slicer into a customized node, as you can see, where you have the start uh, edge and the end edge for that uh, array, the interval form input and the slice thickness, so if we double click on that. We're going to see how it's been uh, built and how all those has been actually generated into uh, or replaced by input with their default values. And here are the end up uh, results that giving us both surfaces and solid, 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 sorry, and surfaces as an end up result. Uh, anyway, I wish that you find this uh, video useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, have a good day. Uh, bye bye.